Congratulations. Thanks. This movie you're in is a juggernaut. It can't be stopped. <laughs> juggernaut? A, okay, it's doing well in the box it's office. doing well. It's doing I get great. too excited about box Don't office receipts. Oh, well, I should, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited myself. <laughs> Did you have fun with this movie? You got to work with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude. J.C.V.D. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what his friends call him, J.C.V.D. <laughs> J-V-C-D? Yeah. Or J-C-V-D? J-C-V-D. Was he fun to work with? Yeah. He's a, he's actually a really sweet, he's very sort of boyish and kind of sweet and, and shy. Really. And he can kill a man with his bare hands. Yeah, in his underwear. <laughs> in his underwear. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of underwear, you got to have, you had like a big, you know, nude scene with him, didn't you? Yeah. Big weird love scene? Yeah. My grandmother's not speaking to me right now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. She saw it and she was flabbergasted? She didn't actually see it. My Aunt Honey told her. That, so. <laughs> and that ruined it. It did. Yeah. Well, you know, she said, "Don't see the first half of the film because of that scene. It's only two minutes. You know, it's just two short minutes, and they mostly focus on him, which was due to me. So, what, if any of what you kind of movie is that? that they're focusing me. on him because I, the director, promised me he would not shoot me from like every angle. That you know, I, for, you know, I forbid him. I said, "I'll point my toes very nicely, and you can show those." And so they didn't. You know, they didn't really show anything. They really? showed you him can... very seriously. Oh, no, really? I saw the movie. They showed it. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what are we you talking know, about? Was, you should be very proud that your grandmother shouldn't be mad. I mean, if you were a heifer. If I was a heifer. Oh, oh but you, you look great. <laughs> no, That's the yeah. nicest compliment you've had yeah, <laughs> in a long time. What, did they, they shoot his butt or something, his right? Butt. See, that's they, why I won't they, see the film. Right? It's, more, it's like, it's also from a very provocative and low angle. Didn't you, were you a little I surprised I was looking for his, um... Well, you could see it if you look closely enough. I don't know. We know what you were looking card, for. Conan. Yeah. <laughs> his name and address. Really, no, they just, yeah, I hear it's like, it's... It, it's Proctological. A, <laughs> proctological. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of... Yeah. He actually learned that he had a polyp <laughs> while they were shooting the film. Oh! Oh, come on! No, this is important medical knowledge that he found out during the filming of the... He was like, oh, it's a good thing I found that out. Yeah. Look, he, you know, he works hard at that body, and he should, you know... Is it very strange? I mean, did you have to... I always think, well, people are wearing underwear under the sheets. And no, that kind of the thing. whole week before that, he was coming up to me, Mia, you know, are you gonna, what are you going to wear for this love scene? And I, I said, you know, I'm not, not going to wear anything, you know. I don't think there's any room for me to wear anything. He said, mm -hmm. well, you know, there's these things you can tape, and there are these horribly uncomfortable things, and they tape them onto you. And I just said, no, because then they rip them off, and it's horrible. Oh, they, <laughs> <laughs> they get, like, some 50-year-old prop guy to come up and rip. <laughs> some guy from a party. <laughs> You know, Artie will no, take care of that. Yeah. No, we we were very nervous, and uh, we had a little like you know that sort of organic beer, and we played some music. And what do you mean, just, organic beer? What, is that? Well, he's very health conscious, so you know, he's he trying to get you to... drunk. <laughs> and, uh, and I appreciated the fun. I really did. I thought I was... have this organic beer. It is customary before a love scene. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He's Belgian, you know. No, oh, he's working on something. So did you have to get in shape and everything before, or? Uh, well, <laughs> I, if I ever I, had I to tried. like do a nude scene of any kind, I would have to completely reform my I body. I ran about five million miles in Vancouver before doing that. But John Claude's very instructive. He he gave me all these different butt exercises, which <laughs> what he did. He knows every every butt exercise known to mankind, <laughs> which he does, which he does frequently. I might add, and and uh, so I was doing them, and what you know, they're they're mostly. And he actually helped me do one of them. You know, is when you put you know when you put your your leg, hey, like Woo! You, to, you know, breast out like that. Uh -huh. You know, like like that. How is that a blood exercise? I don't understand how it works. It's for the, it's for the this this uh, thing. Oh, push your legs apart and he puts yeah. them together. Yeah, and you don't. And if it's strong, so he gave you a lot of beer and then grabbed your legs and yeah. said, "I understand how this town Just works." Look her up, Buttercup. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, of course, you were in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I think that's the first time I saw you in a film, <laughs> which was a. I mean, you seem so long ago. Yeah, it was so long ago. Ten but years ago. Yeah, but you, you're very young still. You seem very young. How old were you then? Were you... I was 17. Wow. Is that strange for you to go and when you see this film replayed? Because it's replayed a lot it's, and you see yourself at 17. It's horrifying because myself at 17 was very geeky and, and strange and emotionally retarded. So when you... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, you mean you were emotionally that. geeky? I, I, well, you didn't I not go. You didn't seem to go through a physically awkward stage. Well, I mean, me at 17 is very fri legitimately frightening, you know? <laughs> no, look, look, if you'd had, like, makeup artists and people putting you in... in uh -uh. Posts, no, no <laughs> Me at 17, no well, way. I had tall, makeup artists. Were, tall and well, I grew to be thin. six feet four inches, like, overnight. 
and I weighed like 80 pounds. And I, was, <laughs> and I like, you know, my features were all crazy and I had crazy looking hair and I walked like this. Can I tell you something? They called out you the government the to stop me. me. I'm telling you, that's just the kind of guy I went for. Huh? That's the kind of guy I you went for? You. Where the hell were you? I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my life. Now I meet you. Back then, women were literally running, literally getting in cars, and he's coming, quickly, start the car. And I'm like, why don't you love me? What's wrong? They're like, get away, get away! And now I meet you. My life is hell, ladies and gentlemen. Well, listen, I want to make sure, it's very nice to meet you, finally. We're, we're out of time, but I want to make sure I mention again, Time Cop is out now, it's doing great. It, doesn't, certainly doesn't need me to mention it, but congratulations. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> me and Sarah, everybody, we should have met back then. Anyway, we'll be right back with God's Child. We'll see you in a second.